Hi, this is Melissa Garza for another episode of Be Inspired. Thank you so much for coming back and checking out another episode. Um, in today's episode, I want to talk about the new Mr. Rogers uh, film documentary, Won't You Be My Neighbor. I saw it today, and the film was excellent. I really, really recommend it to anybody who is interested or has had interest or been touched by Fred Rogers. His life and his legacy was very, very, very um, important to the role of America and uh, basically to, to the United States and I, with the public broadcasting, um, with PBS, <laughs> the public broadcasting station. Um, I think it's really imperative to, you know, make sure you check this out, whether you got it, you know, at home on Netflix someday or wherever, but it was a really, really great film. I really, really loved learning about Fred Rogers and his experience and uh, being, being uh, I think, an ordained minister um, at the time and choosing uh, to work in television since he was so moved by how it could affect so many people on so many levels. And he changed his focus, he changed his career around and uh, decided to kind of be this almost a sense of preacher, but not really um, up at a pulpit in a church. You know, his teaching ground was being there, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and the, in the world of having the world of make believe as well. So it was really interesting to see how his his lessons that he talked of, you know, unconditional love and support, and in a, in a, in an era and a time when. Um, PBS itself was in its new phases, and then also where it was also um, in jeopardy of being uh, cut from funding from the Nixon administration. So I really, really, really was touched and moved by a lot of these stories and how he really was a very careful and methodical person. It seemed like his natural sense as being Mr. Rogers uh, is kind of how he was... Um, on and offset seemed it it seemed as though in the film uh, he really really was interested about being in the present moment um, taking the time to do things slowly uh, he would just move through and ease through say things I really like how he talked about uh, a metaphor at the beginning of the film uh, where he discussed about modulation of music and you know, um, music moving from like one chord to another chord uh, what things sound very um, pleasing to the ear, and then other chords, when they move from one to another, sound very dissonant, and they don't seem to move well. And it takes a few more steps to figure out how to this, how to uh, move from one chord to another, that is a lot more complicated, um, and um, and uh, basically I mean, it's almost like modulating the key of the song. So you got to figure out like how. He figured it out a way to uh, work on these modulations as a way to talk to children, basically, and and uh, <laughs> have them really, really uh, understand uh, different life lessons. I think he was really great with emotional IQ and teaching children how to deal with their feelings because feelings are very important and we all have them and we all go through them. Uh, one of the parts in the film where I felt really, really moved was was when uh, he had retired and basically they filmed the last episode and then after a while, I think he's, they said he started becoming a little bit... Uh, I would say maybe jaded in a way, you know, thinking that the world just wasn't this great place that he saw it to be. And he felt like there was too much evil in the world. Um, but, you know, he was his job to keep um, sharing the goodness. And he they explained that PBS had asked him to come back after the events of 9-11 happened to come talk to the children again because they just didn't know what to do. And, and he was basically the expert uh, on the subject. So... It was just really, really heartfelt to see uh, all the different background lives of all the characters and how he would talk about um, very adult social issues with the children and to explain that to them and to, um, you know, let them know it's okay to question things and, and what things mean and 
and you know they, they, they need to feel some sense of safe urgent uh, safe and, and being protected with their family um, I really like also how we said that the building trust it's really important that you build that the you know the parents greatest thing with their children is the, the children the child the trust the trust the parents basically and with that you know it's they were they had done these different studies and it was really interesting to see how when the children were watching the TV, they just trusted Mr. Rogers the same like it was a one-on-one -on -one relationship, like it was a real relationship that these children were having with this uh, person on the television set. So they really, really felt like uh, what they were doing was connecting with individuals from all different walks of life and getting them to communicate with each other. It was also really interesting to see how um, he had gotten some funding to do some projects to involved adults that were not as successful, but working with kids were, was a lot more successful. Uh, he also didn't like, <laughs> it was really interesting to find out that he didn't really like a lot of the uh, children's programming because he just felt it wasn't positive, it wasn't serving a positive message with the kids. Uh, it was kind of teaching them to um, just buy stuff and uh, not really instilling positive messages. And I see that a lot in, in some of the things I watch today. I'm, you know, kind of, you know, interested to see, you know, how things change from, you know, one era to another. They, interestingly, after his death, there was a lot of people who were very upset there across the street um, protesting. And, uh, you know, I think he really, really, really um, affected a lot of people in different ways. You know, no matter what you're going to say out there in this world, you know, somebody may not like it. Somebody may not agree with what you have to say. But uh, I feel like Mr. Rogers did a really, really wonderful job of teaching tolerance and how we can get along with different people from all different walks of life um, so that we can live um, and coexist together peacefully. So... I would really, really, really recommend seeing the movie. I uh, also would really recommend what, you know, how can you do is it, how can you do things a little bit more, um, a little bit more for the greater good and, and be a little bit more kinder, be a little bit more respectful of the relationships that you have and the people who are in your life. One of the big things that I guess that took home with me that I brought home was uh, the thought of how a lot of people were actually were upset with Mr. Rogers for creating a whole generation of people who felt entitled and special. And uh, people didn't like that. And he goes, when I tell somebody that they're special, it means that they don't have to do anything else just but be themselves. And that is what, uh, what just, you know, understanding you or your own personal unique gifts and that you're wanted. It's not about, you know, having all this additional money, being entitled, all of this stuff. He, they really did think he created a, a, a people who felt entitled, but that is uh, not the case here. And I don't see that really being the case too when I grew up. That's not how I saw it either. So, but there's, it's just a really great movie and you, if you get a chance, I would really recommend to see it. So with that said, you just take a little time with your own personal relationships that you have or working with people or if you see people on the street and uh, you happen to run into them, so, you know, say hello. You know, take a little bit of time out of your uh, focused life sometimes and to look out at things beyond what is in your reach. And, um, you know, yesterday I talked about um, not tolerating what you don't like, but there's a part where you have to build some... Uh, I think you should build some tolerance to coexist peacefully with others. So with that said, thank you so much. And I appreciate you for listening to another episode of Be Inspired. And go check out the film. Bye-bye.